so guys what's up how you all doing i hope you all was safe this weekend and i pray god keep you through the whole week and to the rest of the year safe and all right okay guys i guess you all know what's going on now about domestic violence and it's getting more and more intense um but i don't understand why the male are behaving like you know like your own the female are behaving like you know we like ladies don't have any talk understand yes incident and accident do happen understand and we have dispute but you don't have to take it that far because not because you is a man and you overpower the woman you don't have to be like that you can sit down and talk about things things can be solved in different ways if you cannot solve it then look how much people look how much ladies out there look how much money out there you can move on why you want to just lock yourself or lock your mind in a box and it's so sad because over the years females always go through stuff with men okay you have man go out there and have kids with more than one baby mother and all of those stress come on the female that is at home and she go through that and she keep it and she hold it understand and she's still doing her laundry and she's still keeping the house clean and she's still cooking and providing for him to make him comfortable you know how much stress woman go through over the years because of cheating This is serious. It's not a joke thing. It's serious. It's like, ladies, it's like you have to just take up the knife, take up the fork, take, take up everything. Start to give them, like, give them something to eat with something else. Like, take up the knife, the chopper, everything. Take it up from them. If you know, say you have a spouse where, like, him head I got chip or something when you and him have a dispute. Try to hide, try to take up everything where you can. All times, all time will be here. Because this is serious and it don't make no sense. Look over the years. Females have got through cheating and abuse. Some of the time, even when time the females them find out say the man a cheat pan them. You know what I'm do? Beat her put pan top of it. Beat her put on top of that way. Remember I know him go there and him a cheat. And him, him go there and cheat and, uh, and get other ladies pregnant. And she have to cope with that. And then at the same time, the woman them over the years, the ladies them been going through abuse. And the ladies them been going through abuse over the years from man abusing both them with their words and with their behavior in every way. And the ladies them decide to get up and start to do what they know is best for them. Understand? It's unfair. It's unfair. Something is wrong. But my mom used to grow me and grow me up in Sunday school. And remember, I used to always like just go Sunday school and read the Bible. And they used to talk about revelation. And you used to hear the things and the sign of the times and the things that happen you will happen. And now I am seeing all those things that was said when I was small and it's not me alone I know that most of you that are around my age grow up in Sunday school and you supposed to think like supposed to know like look I remember you used to hear like father against son son against father mother-in-law against daughter-in-law sister against brother and the news is full of it father you know father um just in where they gone, father, I think the son, you know, just do away with his father like that. More than one time it happened. In the homes, them right now, is chaos. Not because you person don't come out and say to you, say, you know, so and so on, you know. But in the homes, them is chaos. Sad to say that, yo, we really want to live the happiest life on earth and we want to do all the stuff that there is enjoyment and everything, you know. But there, come a, there comes a time when we have to look in ourselves 
I said, what is going on? What is going on? And I don't mean like persons for just get up and just go run go organization and stuff like that. Try to know God for yourself. Because whether you believe it or not, something is wrong. Something is wrong whether you believe it or not. The world is drifting from holiness and righteousness and the world is becoming very, very, very evil and wicked. And everyone wants to talk about their own feelings and their own opinion and everybody's supposed to have freedom to do what they feel like. So come on now. A lot of persons go against the Bible. A lot of persons I know. But even in the Bible, tell her, thou shall not kill. So guess what? Because most people now go against the Bible, so you get up and kill and hurt people. Understand? I don't care what anyone wants to say. The Bible is a guidebook to life and to show you what to expect in life. And so far from what I know and from growing up in Sunday school and from what I know, <laughs> all these things, all these things is not really a surprise. It's just for us to know that, look, we know good and we know bad. We know things that is not right because all of us have it in us to know the right. And if we should just just seek the right and try to do the right and try to know your creator more try to have a personal relationship with the creator i'm not a pastor or anything i have no high degree or anything but wisdom come from god wisdom don't come from classroom wisdom come from above the creator himself give human being wisdom seek wisdom and you will find you have persons out there who just get up and talk and just talk anything them feel like for taxi. You understand? And guess what? You lean to your own understanding because you never can control your breath. You never can control your breath. Because God is in control of your breath. Your breath can leave you at any time. Understand? God is in control of your breath. So why go around and talk and say things like some person say like, you know, they don't believe in the creator. They don't believe. And those stuff, even the Bible state that fool, a fool say there is no God. Because if everything that you see, perilous time shall come, father against mother mother against you know father son and everything and you see all those things and the bible tell a perilous time shall come and it ain't getting any better it's just getting worse and worse and worse each year understand there'll be a time when it'll be so severe that people can't even can't even just be conscious like just think normal you have to just look to run to um you know a savior if you lean to your own understanding and feel like yeah we come from animal as you know they state that like we just erupt or you know people just say like i just something happen yeah if you want to think that way that's up to you but i am perfectly and wonderfully made by the most high understand and he gave us a guideline to show us and to tell us what to what to take place all right and what to expect in the life in the future all right guys so it's not like education or anything like that where you know you have to study or go to school or have this great degree or anything like that I grow up that way in Sunday school. My mom sent me out to Sunday school every Sunday morning. Whether your shoes tight, whatever excuse you have, she don't want to hear it. You're going out to Sunday school. So and I think the parents them should grow up their child now more in Sunday school. Get them out to Sunday school and get your family together to pray. Like even one time in the week to pray because now the parents don't really have time you know for really grow up your child the way they should grow so you'll just leave them up 
by themselves and just leave them to YouTubers to get millions out of them. You understand? We just don't have it as a parents. What's, what's wrong? Parents just leave up them kids to YouTubers and them get millions for some foolishness. You understand? And the kids it just just think anything, anything like just sometimes you wonder, you know, oh, oh, we talk of work, oh, the future, oh, the future, I go, I go work out with the younger ones them, and like how them already gravitate because a lot of person don't smart as much as a five year old would use a phone use a tablet or anything like that because they they understand it more than the adult and the adult just allow them to just you know gravitate to it just spend all the time all the hours some some kids even don't have like no appetite to eat food because of the old social media you understand so need to get back a little bit to basic Start to spend a little more time and start to send them back to Sunday school. Start to get your family together to pray and draw closer to righteousness than from righteousness because we can all see what's happening. Understand? So, guys, it's very sad, very sad situation. Okay, guys, and it constantly happens and it needs to stop. But the only way it can stop unless we can pray. And seek God Almighty you know pray and draw closer to him okay guys and my condolence goes out to all the families that lost a loved one in this just 2020 my condolence goes out and we hope and pray that it will be better because this is getting really out of hand that it will be better and remember you know to always just be positive keep positive mind you know if you know someone that is very like aggressive or something like that you know you should be the one to like try to tone down and this temper and try to let it work so guys it's sad the news that they constantly hear, you know, just hear every minute, like just, it's like it's not a joke thing. You know, you just constantly hear this over and over, this same couple, you know, you know, over and over the babies, but the babies, them kind of slow down now, you know, and then you just, like, it just get really, 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 really intense, like, what's going on but as i said it's not surprising because you have a guidebook to life understand and it's already tell you and it's going to i don't want to say it's going to get worse i pray that things will be better but persons need to draw to righteousness and just let go of a things that you know within yourself is not right okay my condolence goes out to all the families okay that lost a loved one and you know i hope you know things will get better things will change and the, the men them will just you know i know you have good men out there you know but i pray that the, the one them like go through depression and stuff like that i pray that they go and get help and viewers and subscribers pick up yourself every time Love you guys, okay? Big up.